Zav. Shanny for Christ. This is the dough. We are going to do the unleashing of the dough. Let's go see it. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks beautiful. Let's, let's go pound it down. Bam, like that. Oh. Oh my God, it smells like beer. Smells like beer? That's a good dough. Yeah, that's good. That's a good, you wanna smell it? Yeah. That's a good dough. That's Sorry, I'm proud of myself with that. I gotta get some flour. Some major yeastage in there? Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. That's what you want. Yes. That smells amazing. These, right here. are for pizza frites, okay? Pizza frites, or fried dough. So, oh, it's getting hot here. Woo, let it free, let it free, let it free. Hello, Ruby. So, we're gonna get some flour on here and just pat some uh, little fritas down. Let's see how many we can get out of here. Remember to rub your hands in the flour yourself. You will need to feel the dough. All right, we're putting that down. And we're just gonna put it in the flour. And we're just gonna kind of knead it a little bit. This beautiful dough, oh. Look at how beautiful the dough is. Oh. Oh. That is a beautiful dough. Look at the consistency of it. You see that? How it stays? That's a good dough. You can also see the bubbles within it, which means it's gonna be like flaky. It's gonna be a good dough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of find find me dough cutter. This right here, this dough cutter. I'm just gonna cut it in half, like so, and we're gonna divide these babies. Now, let's see. Four, let's do it, eight of the three days. There, now they're all even. And we're just gonna basically just, kind of just make it into a big giant, you know, three day. By just going around in the dough and little techniques of how to knead the dough. If it, if it whole comes in, don't worry, you can fold it over and make another one. And this doesn't need to be perfect. It just has to be rustic. And I'm just gonna put it on a plate like so. What happened to Ruby? Oh, you're in so much pain, your cast. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You fell down the stairs. Bless your heart, Ruby. May Jesus Christ bless you really fast. Yeah. But see, this is cool. This is like one of it. So it would like be a perfect portion for us. Everyone gets like two fritas. Perfect. Right? That is perfect. Uh huh. Cause we got a lot of food I'm making today. Yeah, man, lots of food. But this is so good, the fritas. I'm gonna get a little bit more flour on here. Ow! 
I hear a watermelon. A watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> what you doing? Dude, this is like so ASMR. Yeah. Like, this is a beautiful angle. Yeah. Actually. You see my, you see my, my technique is I'm putting it around circles and I'm pulling from the middle out with my thumb and kind of rolling my thumb. You see the angle? Uh, like that, that's what I'm doing to make these fritas. So is that technique. I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Ha! Ah, baby. Cute. These are gonna be so good. Mm. And these are so easy to make and the dough is easy and it smells good. It's a very yeasty smell to it. You know, it's gonna be so good. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect at all. Arisini is an Italian dish consistent of rice balls that are stuffed with various items, coated in breadcrumbs, and then deep fried. That is correct, heretic. That is correct. And yes, I will be doing that tonight for you guys. I shall be stuffing them with mozzarella. Mm. There we go. My mother would be proud of me. Uh -huh. Mother, if you're watching this, yeah. are you proud of me? Proud of are you proud of your daughter? <laughs> mother, be proud of me. I know you hate my ass, but be proud of me. Look at look at these. These are these are gorgeous. <laughs> This would make your mother happy, mom. That's true. And all I'm gonna do is put some more olive oil on it so they don't dry out. Last step for that, for the dough is coating it in the olive oil so they don't dry out before we fry them because we still have to make the arasini balls, which we will be doing right now, actually. After I coat the dough with the olive oil. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, so half of these are gonna have pizza sauce on it and half of them are gonna be powdered sugar. Mm. I know, it's it's gonna be delightful. We're just gonna put this on the side. Plus also, they'll kind of rise up a little bit more while we're setting them aside. I can't Let me do a little washing. I'll be right back, folks. It's gonna be so flaky. We're making the filling right now for the arasini. I know. <laughs> it's actually pretty simple. But I require yeah. a cheese grater that I've never opened before. Honey, can you be my sous chef and open this for me? Yeah. Too? Thank you. Sous chef, that's okay. That works. Thank you, dear. Yeah. 
Where are you? I put the rice here. Where did the rice go? Where is it in the fridge? It might still be in the fridge. No, I think it's in the fridge. Yeah, yeah it's in the fridge. Oh, wow, it has a measuring thing on the bottom of it. Dude. Yes. Salt and pepper. Can I give you a pack of salt and pepper? What, Sherry? Look at So. This. Yes. That was in it. What's the point of that? This is what the arasini is going to be stuffed in or with. String cheese. Yum. But first, we gotta work on the fill-in. Oh, I need, I need. Do you want me to grate cheese for you? Two eggs. No. Two eggs. Two eggs. Okay. Two eggs. I promise you. Okay. So, if you haven't seen, I'm gonna put this in the, my description actually. After I finish this, if you haven't seen it, I made some beautiful risotto, and we're gonna make the balls with the risotto that I made. It's been frozen and um, defrosted. <laughs> defrosted almost all the way. Almost. Yeah. So we're just gonna kind of put that down. And this is a butternut squash risotto. So it's gonna be butternut arasini, which is gonna be yummy. And this is like a really good sticky consistency already, which is actually good. And we need to put two eggs in it. So. Now that is emulsifying. We're gonna be putting, yes, exactly, it yeah. is emulsifying. Yeah. We're gonna put two eggs in here. Just a smidgen of salt, just a smidgen. We don't need that much. It already has salt in it, but we're also gonna put a little bit of cheese in. Knife, knife, Gross. knife, get the knife. Get the knife. Get the knife, where's the knife? It might be. Oh, wait, there's the knife. Oh, okay. I have the knife. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this aside real quick. And I'm just gonna grate some seed, some cheese on this side of the grater. Just basically a little triangle of it I'm gonna do. Oh. Oh, fresh Parmesan. Yum. Don't judge me. I have to do this. Yeah. You admire my egg cracking technique? Thank you. I learned from the greats. You do everything good. I do. Uh -uh. I try to. Yeah. I try to do everything great. Great, great. While I'm grading. <laughs> no, stay. Stay, cheese it. Cheeselet. Yes, stay. Just a <sighs> little bit, like like I said, a triangle, a little triangle of it. Bro. Because we're gonna put three cheeses in it. We're gonna put Parmesan, Romano, and Asaggio in it. Cause it because the cheese will actually help it mm. stay together. Mm. You know, my mom pretty much raised me on this brand of cheese. Man, she's a good cook. All right. And then we have the Asagio. Is really soft, 
softer than um, the Parmesan and Romano. There's a big chunk. I'll keep that in there. There we go. Whoever gets the big chunk of the Asagio wins the day. Looks like it's just a little bit. See, it's not that much cheese. Put that on there. Put that on there. See, it's just about that much. It's about 50 mils, it looks like of cheese, but it's enough to kind of keep this put together for you guys. So I'm going to be a little bit rough with this. I think I'm gonna have to add some breadcrumbs to this, actually. So I can roll it a little bit. So we got some Italian style breadcrumbs right here. I'm basically adding the breadcrumbs so the arancini has some like stickiness to it. I'm not gonna put a lot, just enough to try to bring it together. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells good with the breadcrumbs. Those breadcrumbs smell so good. Let me see. Is it is it ball consistency yet? Mm, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more breadcrumbs. And I think we're going to be there for good ball consistency. Yeah, I said that. Ball consistency. Oh yeah. That's pretty good now to make a ball. And then we'll roll it in the breadcrumbs. But I gotta make the train for that for you guys. One minute guys. And then I need a pan because we're going to be deep frying these babies. So let's start here like so. We're just going to make an assembly line. Is it brown rice? No. It, it's It's the mushroom, uh, risotto. Risotto. Yeah. Yeah. It's made with basmati. Right? Yes, yeah, it's made with basa basa bismati. Yeah. Bismati rice. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the flour base. I'm gonna put this actually right here. So the flour base is just pretty, just a simple base. I'm gonna put all the rest of the flour in here. Might as well get rid of it that way. I'm gonna add some salt to it. Some pepper. Um, add some mishes there. 
fresh for some flavor. And then I got these herbs, some rosemary and thyme. I'm gonna add that into the flower base too. Cause that'd be really good. Add the flower base. There we go. We got some rosemary. Get a little of that. Rub it in between your hands, by the way, to release the essential oils for the rosemary. Cause it's dry. If it's, if it's fresh, you don't have to do that. If it's dry, do it. A little bit of time. Cause we all need a little bit of time. Yeah. I didn't rub that in between my hands, but I'll do this because I'm just mixing it up. All right. Like so. Oh yeah, I gotta get the eggs. Oh. A base for eggs. We need that in here, right here. We need that for the eggs. So I'm gonna put about five eggs in here and, you know. I love you. I love you. Let me wash my hands real quick. Let's whip these eggs, shall we? There's one eggshell in it. Ew. There we go. We'll get that out. You know, eggshells are made with calcium. I would think so. Yes, yes, yes. We're not gonna flavor or salt this because that has salt in it and there's no point. Let me wash my hand again. There we go. The next thing we're gonna do, this right here, regular bread crumb, Italian bread crumbs, right? The Progresso Italian style. And then I thought of this idea. What if we mixed it up and we added the panko breadcrumbs with it? I think that would be amazing, actually. Your cat 
it has a crush on me. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's cute. I love it. It's such a resealable bag. Oh, I see. It says cut here to open. Okay. Cool, bro. All right. Let's put the pink over and crumbs in here. Oh, yeah. These are going to be extra crispy and yummy. Mm. I love this idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Get that all mixed in. Oh. I want to add a little bit of cheese on it, so I'm going to take my cheese grater and add the three cheeses in this. Might as well. You know what I mean? Oh my God. I'm like seriously like drilling right now because this looks so good right now. Yeah. Oh my God, folks. This looks so good. Let me take the light down a little bit for you. Turn it down. Where where are you, light? Light bright. Okay. Yeah, light bright. It's too light. Boom. That's a little bit better. You can see this a little bit better. All right. Then we put the cheese in here. Oh my God. Yeah. This is the Romano. This is one of those fancy cheeses that are so good and delicious. I love cheese, da I love cheese, da I love cheese, da Yes, I do. I love cheese, da I love cheese, da I love cheese, da Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. We got that cheese in there. Look at that middle part of it. Oh, yeah. All right. Get that all mixed up. Oh my God, this looks so good. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good, guys. I'm like, ah. Uh. Thank you, days. All right, clean hands. Let's get into this. All right. And then we put it in the flour first and roll it in the flour, like so. Keep rolling, making it tight and compact. Then we'll put it in the egg, and then we'll put it in the breadcrumbs. And there's the little arasinis. Oh my God. Okay, put it on the pan. There we go. Put that. You need a drink, baby. <clears throat> oh my God. Yes, Can I, I read do. your mind. <sighs> I can't wait for my kitchen chair to arrive. I was just slaving over a hot stove, standing up. You're just making fun of people. Don't be mean. Yeah, that's stupid, man. It's all about angles. It's against terms of service, too. It is. Making fun of the handicapped is not kosher. Oh, yeah. This is so good. 
What a bully. Yeah. Jason, you want to see these? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I call them perfect. But you're perfect, so I mean. Thank you. You are my baby. This is good stuff, man. It's amazing. It's a process, but this is how you can get rid of old rice. You can even do like fried rice and do this. Actually, it'll be fine. Have a good flavor to it. Cause I've noticed that like Asian and Italian, they really fuse very beautifully. So don't be afraid to like, you know, fuse the, the Asian and the Italian food. You won't regret it. I'm actually, instead of deep frying these, I'm gonna bake them. Really? Yeah, That'd let's, let's save some calories. It'd be better tasting, I think, too. Yeah, man. I like baking methods better than deep frying. Me too. Uh, definitely. And it's not just for the health. I like the taste better, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like bacon is better baked. I yeah. Mean, you know what I mean? No, fry them. No, I'm going to bake them. I'm going to break them and see how they turn out. I think they want it fried because of the sounds and stuff, and that's true. That would be cool. But yeah, it would be. Better. But see, we're already doing the sounds with the fried dough, so. Yeah, that's right. That's going to be fried, exactly. Yeah, I don't want to go too, like, oily. Oh, my God, tons of soaked oil, yeah. No, nah, we're going to bake these and see how they turn out. Awesome. Baked Arachini. Mm. I bet it's going to be better than deep fried. That's what I'm guessing. Well, it's got a lot of bread in it. Yeah. You're going to bake it at, like, 400? Yes, 450. Yeah, dude. You know how to do it. I do. You do. I gotta wash my hands real quick. This is getting too much, man. Too gummy? Yeah. <laughs> You're getting in the gum up works. <laughs> I am. My my hands. I look like the swamp swamp thing right now. Yeah, that's awesome. But the Arasini balls look amazing, so they're it's <laughs> they're literally little perfect balls. Oh, they're gonna be so good with the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, I love living here. Oh, you, oh, you weren't making fun. Oh, I apologize then. Okay. I apologize. I'm just so used to haters. Yeah. It's like default setting. It uh, really is. Defensive. You know, that's the default setting. Yeah. Because there's so much hate. There is. But man, you're getting a good audience, Jan. I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's lush. Thank you. We have a balcony. You're like, That's lush. You best believe it. I love living here so much. <laughs> I do. But Orland Home is still a liar, so I'm moving on. Oh my god, this is going to be so good tonight. Yes, it is. I can't wait, dude. Be amazing. You're such an amazing cook, and you deserve a restaurant, man. You do. That's it. I should have sold my 700k and started a restaurant with you. Started a restaurant with me? Yeah. I'm baking chicken with Italian dressing on it with rice. Ought to try th that sometimes. It's good. Oh, yeah. That is a very good, good thing. I do know that. My hands are clean, finally. Um, I have a few more balls to do. <laughs> you have a few more balls I to do. do. 
I have a few more balls to do, and then I'm gonna have to. Uh... I love that. I'm going to have to start boiling some water mm -hmm. so I can get the lasagna noodles going. What is that it? sounded funny. Thank you, Barbara. Ah. All right, back to the ball making. Mm -hmm. You know... I really like your the ball making. The ball Can you draw me something, Ruby? Go ahead. I love I love art. I'm very like pro art. Always. Oh my god. I love to cook. I love to cook. You know, really this really this like whole thing like has really like brought the love of cooking for me. I think I've got, I think I got like in a really bad depression and just forgot everything I love. But since I've been doing this, I really have been enjoying just cooking, you know? It's so good. But I'm really like enjoying my love life. I love going out with the hubby and going grocery shopping and getting the groceries. I'm I always do a dance for oh, him. You are. You gotta look at this real quick. I don't want to turn my neck. You're constantly having me turn my neck. Can I just concentrate on my thing? I'll do it later. All day. I know how I feel. What? <laughs> now you know how I feel? Is this some weird revenge, Jason? <laughs> weird revenge, yeah. Oh my god. Haters are fans. Yeah, in the long run, yeah, they are. Takes patience, effort, skill. Put it on the flower. Oh yeah. Wait. I'm gonna put some more flower on there. Put it in A, put it in A, la 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 la. You are, dear. I, sorry, yeah. I, I apologize. Something very big just was said. I'm just happy. I know. Sorry. Sorry for interrupting. Birds chirp and love it. I, isn't that beautiful, Adele? So peaceful with the birds chirping. It is. I love it here, like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Oh yeah, I think one more after this one and we're good with the Arasini balls. Oh my god. This is so good. I'm sorry.
Oh my god. Come on, come on, ball. I know you can stick. Stick together. You're my friend, ball. Be my friend. Stick together. Oh my god. All right. One more, one more rice ball we got. And then we can stick these in the oven. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, this one's bad. You okay there? Oh, there's celebrations happening. Yeah, we're about to be rich. <laughs> oh, how many have I made? Uh, it'll be 10. That was a lot of risotto that we had left over, but totally worth it. Cause these are gonna be so yummy. So tonight's kind of like appetizers in a way. All right. We got it. That's all of them. Oh my God. Let me show you how these look. How these turned out. It's so beautiful. You're gonna love this when you see it. Look how beautiful these look. Those are the little tiny arasini balls. Aren't they gorgeous? We're gonna bake them. I'm not gonna deep fry them. Let's let's be some health conscious here. But let me wash my hand. <laughs> ah, it's back. Yeah. But these look so amazing. Here you go, babe. I love you. You ready? All right. Let me put this yeah. in the oven. All right, wish this luck. Let's hope that it becomes delicious arasini balls. I am going to wipe off my counter because obviously it is full of flour everywhere. God, I'm becoming a messy cook. I, <laughs> I think that comes with age, man, the messy cook thing. Like, I used to not be a messy cook. I used to be clean. Now it's like I get shit everywhere. Oh, well. I just made a bunch of fried dough and arasini. What you guys do? All right. Let's boil some water. I should send this to Gordon Ramsay. Oh, that sounds sweet. I agree. And then Gordon Ramsay is going to yell at me and tell me everything I did wrong. No, thank you. <laughs> right. It's over 50. It's over 50. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay.
Not quiet, anyway. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're awesome. Woo! I'm right. Move it over here. There we go. No cords are being damaged right now. So I'm putting some water on the boil. Right now. That's gonna be for the pizza frita. To do that. Should I do that first? You know what, one minute guys. I think what I'm gonna do first, actually, since I'm here, let me work on the cannoli fill-in. Since we gotta put it in the fridge, might as well do it now, since we're waiting for the water to boil. So I have that, the powdered sugar, the chocolate chips, we need that for the cannoli filling. We need the zebra cotta cheese and the heavy whipping cream. And a micro grater or a zester, however you want to put it. And two lemon, two lemon. So, to make a cannoli dip. Now, if you don't know what cannoli is, it's this beautiful Italian pastry that that is like a hard shell and has this beautiful like creamy texture to it. So I'm gonna show you what the creamy filling in the cannoli is essentially it's really it's really easy so basically what we're going to start with is the heavy cream and make sure it's cold because we want the heavy cream cold Go put that in there, like so. 
And basically, we're just gonna do this. We're making whipped cream, guys. Yeah, Mama Shannon's making whipped cream. try this with the whipped cream. Fun! These are actually coming along really fast, actually. That's the Arasini. That smells so good. I smell garlic, like strong garlic, yum. Really? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Wanna try it? Yeah, sure. Whoa. Yeah. Let's try it. Oh my it's God. It's fun. That is fun. Right? It's already getting thick. It really is. a lot of fun actually it is <clears throat> this is a great boat uh manual boat motor isn't it yeah well i got it purposely because what if we'd have run out of electricity and we need something yeah that's definitely smart see and and it's better if you don't put too much muscle into it actually yeah it goes faster you want it back or? All right, one minute. Homemade whipped Let me cream. See. Oh, you're getting there. It's getting there. Mm. I'm gonna add some things to it since it's at this state. Actually, where is Z Vanilla? There you are. So I'm gonna add some good old organic. Ah. I'm gonna use some good old organic Madagascar vanilla in this. I'm not measuring it. I don't measure my vanilla. Don't judge me on it. I don't care. I'm pretty good at eyeballing things anyway. And oh, I can't wait to smell this. I smell everything. Oh, okay. What? Oh, this is a cap. Oh, how clever. Oh, my God. Okay. Just, there we go. There we go. Put that in there. And then we got to add a little bit of powdered sugar in this, too. So... And put a little bit, like a third cup of powdered sugar in here. So it can be somewhat sweetened. All right, let's go back. getting to be really good with cream now. I kind of want to add like a stiff peak. Not yet. It's almost there. Oh yeah, it's almost whipped cream fully, Burroughs. Look at that. You see 
see that? Isn't that gorgeous? It's so easy making whipped cream, guys. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You see, it's stiff. Oh my God. I made the best whipped cream in the world. <laughs> Try that. What is wrong with, am I like creating magic or something in the kitchen? That is the greatest Whoa. whipped cream you will ever have. Whoa. What did you just do? That is beautiful, like magic. What did you do? I don't know. Here. Like what? Oh my God, dude. The next thing, I need to put some ricotta in here, so I'm just gonna cut the ricotta in to the whipped cream. Yeah, that's the greatest whipped cream I ever had. Oh, that's definitely the best, yeah. There's no doubt. That's the best. Son? Oh, okay. Oh. You want to tra taste the greatest whipped cream you'll ever have? Yeah, try that. Oh, Here. that's amazing. Try that. That is the greatest. I think it is. <clears throat> wow. How do I do this? I don't know. How? I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing this lately. Put the whole container of the ricotta in. There we go. We're gonna add a little bit of more powdered sugar to it because it needs the sugary. Nothing wrong with sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of more uh, vanilla actually. Cause that's just pleasant. All right, let's cut this up. Oh my God. Oh, this is such good looking cannoli filling, honey. Uh, it, more than that, I mean, whoa. Yes. So you mix the whipped cream that you just made into the ricotta. Oh my God. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. My ancestors would be proud of me. Very proud. They'd be like, Shannon, how are you doing this? I'm like, I don't know. I'm being blessed by God or something. Making such amazing food right now. Dude, this is like all memory from that, from um, from watching uh, Food Network. I, exactly. <laughs> That's all this was. That's exactly what it is. It's Food Network. Yep. Oh my God. You want me to add the nutmeg? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna add nutmeg and cinnamon to this, actually. And lemon zest and juice. So let's put a little bit of nutmeg in. Oh yeah. A little bit goes a long way with the nutmeg. Add a little bit of nutmeg. Add the cinnamon. The cinnamon is in there. We take this and this and we just do the skin. Don't get to the white. Just do the yellow because you want that. Just the yellow zest of the lemon. So make sure you don't put the pith, which is the white stuff, into 
your ricotta cannoli concoction. Just make sure you get the yellow of the skin, the zest, and that's it. That's it, you hear me? That is it, look at that, look at that goodness. Look at all that lemon and goodness. Oh yeah, that's springtime. You see those lemons there? That is springtime, folks. That is springtime. Smells so good in my household right now. And then I'm gonna go and take the juice, cut the lemon in half, and take the juice and put that in here too. Right now I'm just getting the rest of the rind. Oh, it smells so good, smell that. I can't wait. That's the smell of the rind, it's so good. Oh, 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 oh super freshness. And, and, and. Oh, remember when you squeeze your lemon, do it yeah. cut side up. That's right. So you don't get any uh, seeds. 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 That's correct. In. There's a couple. There is a couple. Just a couple. Who caked them out? <laughs> oh my God, the smell. What? <laughs> Chantal Marie's gonna give you some massive credits, man. Like you could cook. Maybe. Right? Yeah. It smells like an Italian like bistro in here. It is an Italian bistro in here. Shani's bistro. It is. It's Shani's Italian bistro. Oh, no. These are really good juicy lemons too, man. All right. Let's stir that up. Now we got that lemon juice in there with the ricotta. Oh my goodness, folks. Oh my goodness. This is by far the most delicious looking food I think I've ever made. Let me look at the Arasini balls. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Babies. What is going on? Oh, this is such a creamy looking filling too. All right. Next up, a little bit of chocolate chips we wanna put in this. And I got the mini Toll House, so I'm gonna put some in those. Because usually when you have a cannoli, you have the little mini m and or little mini chocolate chips in it, in the cannoli filling. So this is what we're doing. We're putting the cho chocolate chips in the cannoli dip. All right, that is done. Now, let me put it in here. So I can get that nice and cool down for you. Oh no, we got a little bit left. What are we gonna do with that? Shane. I guess we're gonna have to try it. Ooh, and the water boiled. It was perfect timing. Oh, nice, the water boiled. Right wash my hands real quick. Amazing. <laughs> Here, babe. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, what is that? That's what? the cannoli filling or dip. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. 
Oh. What you think, dear? That's the best cannoli filling I ever tasted. Thought so. <laughs> yeah, you could have guessed that. Thought so. Unreal. So I'm just gonna put some lasagna noodles in here because I had leftover lasagna noodles. Like, do you know who you'd be making cry right now? Huh? Tommy from the Bronx. Tommy from the Bronx loves me. He would literally cry if he looking at your food. Oh! Wow. Tommy, would I make you cry looking at my food? It, with joy, not like he's a pussy or nothing. No, I'm not saying he's a pussy. Thank you, baby bear. Thank you guys so much for the sweet words. Do I have experience in commercial fruit prep? prep? Actually, I do. Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you do. I've cooked in a lot of kitchens. Actually. Okay, so right now I'm getting the lasagna noodles done. Okay. We got the arasini. Oh, yum. That's, look at how beautiful that looks. I want to see them. Holy, what? That could feed like 50 people. It looks like it could. <laughs> I think it's almost done too. They're beautiful, man. Thank you. The, I can't, you just, you, you could be like a one person caterer almost. I probably could. You're amazing, Shan. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah it's just true. Shannon's delivered home meals. Like that's Paula Dean, man. That's what Paula Dean did. True. Delivery food. How long have we been married? A little over three years. We lo I, I mean, we love it. I really feel married life is way better than single. I do too. I'm with Paul. Because I do burn in lust if I don't have to. All right. the main event. We got to get this oil in here and I'm just doing it in a get that to a state where we can boil it. while I'm currently working on the lasagna noodles. Is there a way you can take out the arasini for me? Hmm. Yes. Absolutely. And you can show the folks. They're done done, huh? I forgot to put the mozzarella in them. Okay. Who cares? It's got so no. much cheese in it anyway. Yeah. We don't need the mozzarella. I mean, it would be just the last piece of unctuous yumminess, but you don't need it. Okay, I need, well, I need that. Oh, <laughs> hello. I need this, and I need also, like, something else. I don't want to use this. I don't want to use that. I need some other cloth of some kind. Ah, that, <laughs> that again. I don't yes. know, there's some meaning in that. All right, here we go, folks. Oh my God, what? <gasps> like, that's the reveal, man. You know what you could do? Throw it away? What are you, nuts? Why would I throw it away? Looks amazing. All right, I got it, I got it, Where I got a thing go? for you. Where okay. should I put them? Just put it on the counter, but okay. what you could do. Yeah. 
is you could cut a little opening in in them. Oh yeah, and shove and, and shove the cheese in. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, thank you. That would be fun. I have to do some cutting. Oh, I'm excited. Ugh. That would be really good. Oh, that's great. Oh yay, the lasagna noodles are on its way. Bro. This is amazing. If I could get the cheese stick over. Here we go. I know, right? Oh my god, I'm getting a break on more of a chance, sorry. Motor skills are gonna work on them. Motor rage! This is good. That's gonna be so fun. These are right. I love to cook, man. I do. I really love cooking. I miss it so much, and then you made me realize, wow. You well, this cooking show made us realize how much we love cooking. Yeah, actually. So. I don't know why we got this idea. What was it? Probably watching Simply Sarah and uh, Tasty Type stuff. And... Yeah, and we were just like, let's just see what we can do. Yeah. Like, I can cook. Yeah, you can cook. Can't you cook? You can cook. And he's the. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention that. It's just like people can see it. I know they can. And uh, I, I'm just waiting to prove that word, Guy Fieri. I heard about this shit for Christ, girl, you know. <laughs> Thought I'd drop by her house and have her cook me something. But <laughs> crazy. Because he definitely comes to Colorado. Well, yeah, he has his restaurant here. Yeah. Well, he's got that. You might want to put this back in there for a minute to melt that through the mozzarella. It'll melt. Yeah, naturally. Oh my god, this has become paste. What? It's it's the uh, flour. There we go. And for some reason, with the water, it's become a base, so I gotta clean it. Cheers. That's so good, baby. Mm -hmm. You want me to show them again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right, folks. You make the same thing. You know, this is, it's not a mistake, really, but uh, I don't want that going in the oil. I pu I put we 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 uh, cut a we cut a slit in the top and inserted pieces of cut up mozzarella sticks. Done deal. Oh. Like zombie eyeballs, you know? It's delicious. I love it. It's gonna be so good. I know. Can't wait. Okay. Watermelon loves the outside. It's real. They need to be fully cooked. If you make rollatini, make sure your lasagna noodles are fully cooked and not halfway cooked. Just to let you know. Let me see on this. So to check Morbid. 
to check if the oil's right, just put a little uh, flour in. And if you see it boil, you know it's done, but it's not. So we'll wait a little longer for the oil. Love on some cannoli cream. You want some? Oh my god. It, it, no, I'm good. I had it on the spatula. It's so good. It's delicious. You wouldn't want to waste that. Take this recipe of mine and do it. Out of the cannoli dip. It's so good. It really is. And I know I'm being a pig. I don't care. I made it. Mmm. It's so good. Alright. I gotta wash this out too. Because it's my only clear dish. You're amazing. You should put that on the Amazon wish list. What? Is clear. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should do that. Elon just posted that picture. And that's what I tweeted him. I think he'll like that. <laughs> leftover cheeses that I figure I'd put in here. Beautiful. Do you have the mozzarella still? The mozzarella sticks? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll mm -hmm. put that in there too okay. with the rollatini. I don't know how many you need, but here's three. You want more than that? Yeah, just give me the whole bag. Whole bag? Okay. <laughs> Panko away and the breadcrumbs away and the extra chocolate chips away. That's it. I am making a pumpkin bread with chocolate chips. That is an official shanty statement. Did you hear me, my love? Oh, say it again. I said. I am making a pumpkin bread oh, yeah. with chocolate chips. Okay. Pumpkin, really? Where did that come yes. from? Would you like a pumpkin bread? Yeah. With chocolate chips? Of course. I make some really boss pumpkin bread. These are getting done. Yeah, That's done. The lasagna? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. I'm putting these in. Look how much they puffed up. Oh my god. Oh, I have to see this. This is going to be incredible. <gasps> wow. Look at this. Oh. You need the tongs. I have them. You got them. Okay, cool. Wow, I'm, I'm gonna need you to dump this soon. Okay. Just dump more and I'll do it. Okay. Look at that. Oh my god. Amazing. We're just gonna wait until it puffs up. Oh. It looks so awesome on camera too. Fry bread. Yes. Can you hand me a plate? I'm gonna need it to put the plate right on. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. Oh yeah. 
great front end. Okay, I'll, I can get in there. There's I got it. You got it. Baby. This is incredible. Oh yeah, that noise. That noise, I love it. This is incredible. <laughs> You're insane. Went Dr. Four, the Swedish the Swedish Oh the right of you the the room. Is you for you the view? Is you for David do? Is you for do for you? That's right. I agree with you. Look at that. Man. Oh yeah, it's getting brownish. Why the moment? Oh, I can't wait. It's really good for this because you can see the bottom. Even. Exactly. It's wow, good awesome. for that type of frying. It really is. That's my Jason avocado pan, I think. You know, when I got for my... Oh, yeah. Let me flip it. Oh, my God. Look at this. Sort of beignet-like, even. Yeah, it's going to taste beignet-like. Flaky. Oh, my God. So many. But... Look at that. Doesn't that look like heaven, folks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely true, man. I mean, I mean, see, I think you might win Cook of, of Heaven. Sarah's amazing, but I don't. I think you might get that. So you're going to be leading the choir and you're cooking in heaven. Jeez. Yep. That's a lot of work. Oh. Okay, that needs to be drained now. That needs now. to be drained, okay. Yep. It's done. Alright. We got it, folks. We do. We got it. There you go. Let's see. That looks amazing. It does, man. work. Oh, yeah, that's done. It's that quick. Okay. Oh. The smell. Oh. Pizza fritas. This is so incredible. That's the oil. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. Do that. And then we'll put powdered sugar on these ones. Yeah. You want, you want and, me to hit it? Huh? You want me to hit it now? Nah, we'll wait. Okay. Well, I mean, here, let me get a, a little bit of powdered sugar so you can put that on. Okay. You do the powder. Oh, yeah. Confectioners. Oh. Oh, my God. This is so amazing. Look at this. Oh. Won't let me get in the bag. Get in the bag. There you go. Oh my goodness. Okay. You can sprinkle it on. Let the people see. Okay. What you do. Okay. Well, this is not a sifter. Yeah. So, how exactly do you, do Just you want? Just sprinkle it with your hands. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Be a little doing... sprinkle fairy. We're doing them. Oh my god. Oh, need a little bit more than that. I know. Yes, sir. Yes. You just got to do it. Like, you just got to do it. You don't want this whole cup on here. No. We're saving it for the other ones, yeah. Yep. My no, don't put that Oh, is that, that's on? It's, no, it's hot. Jesus Christ, I didn't know that. That's why I took it off. I did not know that. Yes. Everything's covered up over here. All right. Flip it because it's brown. And then we wait for this side. You see how easy fried dough is and pizza dough and doing all this stuff? I'm just saying, folks. You gotta respect cooks. It's easy. It's easy, but still, it's work, dude. <laughs> it is. Wow. But it's fun. You love it. I do. 
Uh, your noodles are here. I know. I'm letting them cool down. Okay. Because I got to roll them. Okay, cool. I'm letting everything cool down. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Queen of the kitchen. Really? You have that title. All right. So good. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. We had a sifter. I could, I, like, you know, you pour a little bit through the sifter. F -f 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 -f, you know. All right. That's done. Yeah. Now you gotta do your you hit it powdered with sugar, sugar immediately. Yes. Oh my god. That's what all the best restaurants do. They hit it immediately. Oh my god, dude. What do you do Put them all on. Bam. The rest of them. Yep. Oh, the sugars are just melting on the top. It's like what? Mm hmm Oh! Here we go. Mm -hmm. Put them on the counter. Okay. Look at these. These are the powdered sugar ones. Yep, finito. For you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah. These ones are going to be with pizza sauce. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? I can't handle it. I remember someone saying if Shani Cook, if she did this or that, they'd give her credit, but yet screaming her lot. <laughs> Telling people to look at her child of oh, my ass off. Cinnamon sugar sounds a great idea. Powdered sugar does not melt. It's being soaked up by all the grease left on the bread, so. Well, yeah, same thing. I, I mean, whatever. I'm sure. Delicious. You're more correct. They're just jealous. You mean. wish you had this, man. They wish they had the talent to make it. Right? You're amazing. Ah. Uh, hey, what's up, Owen? Hey, baby, I'm just waiting for it to get brown. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been looking at it all day, Maria. Mm hmm. There we go. Shanny overheat situation. The overheating situation has been fixed. You're really cooking here. Because you're a, an amazing girl. I know. It's the truth. But we're currently doing the rest of the fried dough. Now they're the ones that the pizza sauce is going to be on, right? The, your, yeah. your homemade sauce? Yes. Oh my goodness. All right, let me turn that off. You want me to put these on the table for you? I'm gonna put this over here because I want to keep. Yeah, this like. I want to keep this, the oil, because you can reuse it. That's true. So I'm gonna reuse it. Okay. Look Dude, at that. this is amazing. That is beautiful. I'm gonna do something. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I need to move. I'll put it up here. Oh, I gotta move the camera like, here. Oh, okay. There we go. Like, there's more room on the counter. If you want. The smell of the of pizza freak dough, like fried pizza dough. It, uh, I hadn't smelled that since like La Vez Italiana. Uh oh, your ring. Oh shit. I got it. Put my oh. I'm trying, folks. <laughs> You're doing your best. Give me a minute. That stove is hot. Because you're baking. You do you want this off? No. Is there something there? Oh no, you're doing the lasagna. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me figure out how to do this. Oh, I need the lasagna noodles. Okay. Okay. So 
I'm trying to get this a right angle for you guys. Ah! That's wrong angle. It's hard, man. The tripod, you know tripod is really good. Fuck me. Just all acceptable. I know. You're acceptable. I'm trying, guys. The angle is so bad. One minute. <laughs> These are nice and pliable for you. And just warm, you know. Yeah, man. Perfect. You got it. Oh, you got it now. <laughs> She's her, she's her own uh, uh, photographer, too, folks. Like, I am. I'm my own photographer. There we go. There you go. Cameraman, editor, everything. You do it all. Ugh. Put these down here. These are for the... Uh, Lasagna rollatinis. Yeah. So. Yes. Lasagna noodles. There you go. Perfect. We're going to play with lasagna, folks. <laughs> Where's Garfield? But first, <laughs> we got to make our ricotta filling. I'm going to do a quick video. There we go. First thing, two eggs. Here at home with the famous shanty for Christ, I mean, look, 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 look at the spread. Pizza freeze. These are going to be with sauce. They, these are Erin Cheney. She's amazing. And she's making lasagna. Amazing, folks. Lasagna again? Yes. Well, no, this isn't lasagna. This is rollatini. This is taking my leftover sauce and util utilizing it up that I have. Just showing you how to do it. How to take leftover sauce and do something amazing with it. All right, take that ricotta. Put that in there with the eggs. We're going to mix it up. Now that that's mixed in with the eggs, let's do our favorite thing that we have to do, and that's the cheese. I'm gonna put quite a bit of each cheese in. Cause this essentially is what we're gonna be filling our lasagna noodles. So, buckle up, folks. We're going to make some cheese. I love cheese. Um, I love cheese. Um, I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. I love cheese. Da -da I love cheese. Da -da I love cheese. Da -da yes, I do. That's going to be a Disney song. 
Quinn. Yeah, I like Quinn. Quinn's cute. Quinn's cute. Quinn's cute. You love Shannies? Thank you, Quinn. Thank you, Quinn. I knew it, Shanny. Seen Shanny. <laughs> oh my God. I love you, Shanny, but I love cheese too. Me too. Cheese is very delicious. All right. Back to slice and cheese. There we go. And this is the Asagio, so that should go down real fast. So we're going to save half of this cheese for the filling and then half to put on top of the Rolantini. You can make different types of rollatinis too. You could add ham to it if you wanted to. With like a cheddar sauce. As we move forward in this cha cooking channel, I'll just engage in more different ways how to make delicious food for you guys. There we go. Oh my God. Look at that big mound of cheese. Get it all mixed together. Like I said, half we keep for later. Say goodbye. Let me let me just put these little chunks in my mouth though, of course. Mm. Mm -mm 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 And stir that cheese in there like so all right now we got to fill in for the rollatini now spun where are you spun spun Get a spoon. Thank you, spoon. All right. So, flat surface. Lasagna noodle. Just put this in. Need probably three spoonfuls. And we're just gonna smooth it all out. Like so. We smooth it all out. And then you roll it. You roll it. And then you put it, a little bit too much water. You put it right on top like so you see like this actually i should put a bit of sauce on first i have my homemade sauce that i made the other day right here it is still absolutely delicious and i'm just gonna put some sauce on the bottom there we go just so it doesn't burn the bottom. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. And then we'll put the lasagna rollatini in there like so. That'll work. Lasagna noodle. Three. 
spoons of it, of the ricotta egg mixture. Spread it out. And roll it up. This is a really good thing to like make with kids actually, cause it's fun. And then you put it in the pan like so. See, two already in the pan. Looks so good, thank you. This is just like a quick way how to make something really fun and pretty. Like this is the type of thing you like you could like really really would be good like at like a a church like potluck actually the lasagna rollatini cuz it's so impressive to see but yeah it's like really easy to make. Lasagne. Three spoonfuls of the ricotta mixture. I like so. And we spread it out on the noodle. And then we roll it up. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down. There we go. Aha. We saved it. <sighs> this is so good. And it's like kind of like an appetizer almost, if you think about it. It's really not doing much except like rolling lasagna noodles in a pan and then covering it with some tomato sauce and cheese at the end of the day. But it's so pretty. It looks like flowers. Doesn't it? You need to do this recipe someday? Please. Shani the new Julia Childs. Oh my god, what a compliment. What a compliment, guys. Oh yeah, so good. It's easy, it's cheap, it's delicious. And you, like I said, you don't even need to add ricotta cheese. I've seen this done with like ham and like cheddar. I've seen this done with like veggies and different types of cheeses. Like the sky's the limit. But I figured, like, an authentic... I had all this ricotta, so might as well use it. Use it up. One, two, three. I'm hoping I have like 12 maybe. I can get 12 in. Hoping I can get 12 of these rollatinis in. So each of us could have three of the rollatinis. 
house. This is gonna be delicious food tonight. Our tummies are all gonna be happy and warm. And everyone is going to be la-di-da. We're going to have the 12. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. This is looking so boss. Guys. All right. One. Two. I'm running out of cheese. Three. That lasagna noodle left, and that lasagna noodle down, and that we have enough for 16. Awesome! Each of us get four rollatinis. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My assembly line. This side is gonna be a little light. It looks like. A little light from the ricotta, that's okay. Got it all done though, folks. roll this up it's kind of broken noodle but it'll fit tight folks oh my god this looks beautiful all right stuff that in there like so look at that and then i'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce on top This looks so good. All right. And you know how we have that leftover cheese? Oh yes. We're gonna put that on top. Leftover Italian cheeses. Oh my gosh. There we go. And everything's cooked. We're just gonna cook this until the cheese melts. Baby? Yeah, I'm here, baby. You are off to the plate, my love. Okay, I'll just rub it in there. Oh 
Uh-huh. And then we wait. Got you covered. Mm. Whoa, there's a cord here. There's a cord in between here. I don't want to touch that yet. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. Here you go. Okay. I got it. Yeah, I don't need these. What the fuck? It's cold. I'm stupid. Okay. Careful. You want it on bottom? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. We're just doing it until the cheese melts. Pretty hot in here. Can we at least open this door fully? Because holy shit, it's very hot. Yeah. 450 degrees. There you go. Thank you. There we go. Safety first. I don't feel like burning. Doesn't meat. that look amazing? Yeah, it looks great. That's going to be so pretty. We have a big old Italian platter. Yum. For you. Tonight. Yeah, I showed them that in the video I did. Yeah. It's like, it's so beautiful. Thank you, Jack. I'm not done yet, honey. Okay? No. Zach, just... We'll Thank talk. you. We'll talk and hang out soon. All right, I love you. Ah. <clears throat> oh. Folks, let me lift this up for you. Come to my face. Now we're waiting for just the rollatini. Everything else we have achieved. So I figured since we're waiting for the rollatini to come out of the oven, I'm a great cook. Thank you, Gideon. I figured since we're waiting for that to come out of the oven, what if we did that Oreo and Coca-Cola coffee taste test for you guys? I guess I didn't need the leftover cheese either. Or the mozzarella. We got more cheese, folks. We got more cheese. More cheese than we could think of right now. So, I gotta think of something to do with a bunch of cheese. But let's try this. The coffee and s'mores Oreo taste test for you guys, since we are here for you. My love? Yeah. Well, you like to swing that t chair over and, and sit by me and we can oh, go and do a taste test. And then this is a new thing. This is, this is s'mores Oreos. I have to try these. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So oh. this is the from our friend Hannah. This is really good. So I, yeah, but somebody big said that it was really good. Like, I can't remember who it was. Oh, that, that that Asian dude you follow that does all the, like, he went to, he went to Mario World. Yeah, that dude. That guy. All yeah. right. Let's try it. Let's start. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you. You make me happy. All right. <laughs> it smells like Coke. It's like a malted, it's like a malt. Oh my God. It's like a malt cream. An egg cream. That milk. is so good. Like, I, you wouldn't think Coke and coffee would go together. This tastes like the things that my mom used to drink when she was I would have never thought this would taste so good. At a soda soda bar. Right? Mm hmm This is so good. Mm. Try that, folks. Try it. Get it. You know? Coke, we love you, man. That's yummy. They make good products. I don't care, man. It's <laughs> It's like Hershey. I'll never hate on it. Look Hershey. at this. Okay, so it's graham flavored cookie. Oh, that's good. Marshmallow and chocolate flavored cream. Mm hmm. Oreos. Yeah. Man, that's Ooh. just great. 
Who wouldn't want to try an Oreo? If someone offered me that, I take it every time. Oh my God, look at them. Oh. Thank you. Okay, so. Yeah. Standard Oreo. Yeah. You can see the chocolate in there with the marshmallow. Mm. It looks like you can, you can't really, it smells kind of marshmallowy. The cookie tastes like a graham cracker. Mm-hmm. It does. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. That's good. It's one of the better Oreos, I think. Mm-hmm. Not my favorite. That's good. Mm. It tastes like a s'mores, it does. Yeah, the boys will really like this. Oh yeah, that, that's good. They'll love them. You hated it? Ah, Maria. What, the, the, this? Mm-hmm. The Coke stuff? Mm-hmm. I don't know, it has a note, that, a note at the end that some people might not like, Jenny. Kind of, it tastes like instant coffee kind of at the end. It does. See, I love instant coffee. You know what I mean? Like Maxwell House, the, the powders, it's not powder, but granulated stuff in the, in mm. the glass thing. Mm -hmm. Maxwell House, I love, I love that. I'm not complaining. No. It's good stuff. I love it. Thank you for all the super chats. Let me see these super mm -hmm. chats here. I apologize for not getting to you guys. Thank you. I don't see anything. Wait. There you go. We got seven Quinn. Seven Quinn. Thank you for the $10. Did you say anything? Why can't they just let me bring it up? No, they didn't say anything. They just gave you money. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the money. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Five chat. Now scroll it. The carrot cake Oreos they're pretty are delicious. Fun. Yeah, they're pretty good. That's one of my favorites. Thank you, Gideon. I love you, Quinn. <laughs> we love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, th I, I really like doing um, the cooking shows for you guys so much more than the other things. So I'm just going to stick with it. Tell you the truth. I love cooking. It's so fun. You're good at it. It's so fun. It's so good. Thank you. Try. That's a winner. Beverage. You know what? The coffee flavor is very similar to like coffee flavored like jelly bellies. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There, there's like a hard coffee taste there. Like granular. Thank you, Crystals. Shani, would you ever consider coming to the bottom of YouTube? Uh into the weird part of YouTube. I'm not sure what the bottom of the YouTube looks like. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. This is the best format for me. I think so too. It's, it makes me happy. Plus the boys, they just love the food. Um, I'm not sure tomorrow I'm going to do a cooking show. We probably will be eating leftovers. Maybe. I'll see. Actually, wait. Oh, there is one thing I'm going to be making tomorrow for you guys that I think you guys are going to like. It's a dessert that I have that I uh, have the stuff for. So I'm going to do that. I think it's a show. Thank you. I think it's, hey, I'm happy. Like that's, that's, that's something that I needed is happiness. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like yummies everywhere you go. We're seeing the yummy ricotta and the Parmesan get brown cause it's gonna be lasagna rollatini. It is lasagna rollatini. You can't wait to try some of the recipes? Ah, oh, thank you. 
You really like how I made the lasagna? Yeah, that's a really, like, lasagna rollatini is so fun. It's really good to do if you have, like, little kids. Thank you, cookie lady. Will I stream eating it? Okay, I will stream eating it. I'm just going to go up to my room and eat it. I need to put my legs up. I've been going, 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 going today. So I'll make a plate for myself and like go schlump up my room. But I got to make a plate for the hubby. So... Hi, honey. Hi, baby. The boys and Jason today have experimented with Takis. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a video with all those Takis, but I, not tonight. There's too much to eat. Yeah, it is, Crystal, isn't it? Oh, you're making the sweet potatoes with the barbecue sauce tomorrow? You're going to love them. They're so good and tasty, and it just, it makes your tummy feel nice. Yeah. You know, and you don't have that, like, wear down that you usually do with meat. It's so good. It's so good. But, yeah, I'll start a live stream after the Rolatini is done and after Jason does his, and I'll, 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 I'll go upstairs and, like, I got I to gotta make him his dish, make it pretty for him, for his show, his eating show. Because, plus, also, we, we were actually planning on switching up our shows. And he, he's going to be doing the cooking and I'm going to do the eating. We're going to do that one day. Um, it's just, I really like to cook. Oh, my God. That looks so lovely. Like, look at this, folks. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh. I'm so happy for it. I'm so happy for it. Jason? Oh, okay. I love you, Zachary. It smells so good in here. Yeah, it's it really does smell like an Italian restaurant, like a beach girl. That's, that's no lie. And the cannoli filling is just yeah. Let me give you like a closer up of it. Because it's been settling in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Just mm. yeah, mine. <gasps> Oh, look at this cannoli dip. It is so good. You have no idea how good this tastes. It is so good. And this will last a while. Like you could eat this with fruit and, and I, we're today eating it with fruit and um, cinnamon graham crackers. Um, I got a fruit display here. Like I saw this at the store and I was like, how could I not get this? Isn't that cute? It's on skewers, so I figured it would be like really cute and fun for the boys to eat the cannoli dip with their fruit like that. Hi, you dad, how are you? Yummy, I'm jealous, thank you. Okay, they have a request yeah. when you make your eating show. Yeah. Try to aim the camera on the food too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That, I, yeah, I need to get my, uh, my own ring. Yeah. Well, right. it's right here. No, I have one for myself. Oh, okay. I want the cannoli dip. Oh, it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so good. It's yummy. It's, uh. Oh. A icy. I love it. As Foodie Pie would say, a icy. I love it. It's going to be yummy breakfast, actually, too. 
<laughs> you could have an app out. Well, you could have it with apples. You could have it with cookies. You could have it with fruit. Right. You technically could put it in a, a graham cracker crust with chocolate pudding and make like a graham cracker chocolate pudding cannoli thing. That would be really good. My mom would never leave your house with that dip. It's her favorite, but she never had homemade. Dude, you need to show your mom the homemade one. She'd just be like, holy shit, it's that easy to make. Yes. Ooh, cannoli French to Oh my God. Mar Heretic. You get some brioche and you make some French toast and you put the cannoli fill in with some strawberries on it. <gasps> Stuffed French toast. <gasps> and you could you could soak the bread beforehand in like like a coffee liqueur. Like get it like a little like fancy and stuff. Oh yeah. You, you, you see what I mean? Yeah, we're all coming to this like realization how good that stuff's gonna be. Nice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have her watch your video, sweetie. She has only had it from this grocery store. She's gonna be a happy woman. Yeah, I'll make sure to put the recipe of the cannoli dip in the description for you guys. As well as the pizza dough. And I think that's it that you really need the... the... the recipes for everything else is kind of like... Common sense. Amaretto even. Ooh, yeah. Well, God bless you, Huda. Oh, it's almost done, folks. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I worked for my food. I worked my appetite today. I had a nice salad, so, you know, my pipes are going to be nice and clean. You want me to do some Alfredo? Yeah, I'll do some Alfredo. I love making Alfredo. Ooh, you made chicken cordu cordon bleu casserole. Oh, that sounds so good. All right, Huda. Well, have a good night at your work. I'll see you later, sweetheart. I'll see you later. Oh, my God. Do Greek food? Yeah. I can do some Greek food. Greek food? Yes, sir. Yum. You know how to cook Greek for real? Yeah. What? You know how to cook Greek? I do know how to cook, know how to cook Greek. Legit. Yeah. That's amazing. I know that. I'll make some spanakopita. Oh. And. What? Yeah. Yeah, please. Oh, are you serious? I'll make some spanakopita. This is and... almost like skills you learned when you were a vegetarian, like totally, right? Yeah, right. That, we were vegetarian, so a lot of people do it with chicken and stuff. And thanks when you make it, me and my daughter will watch so we could make it together. Cool. Thanks, hon. It's appreciated. You're welcome, Crystal. Nice. Make some baklava, yeah. Oh, by M the way, Shannon. Moussaka. What? What? Somebody said in chat they wanted you to do like a your best gumbo. That's a great suggestion. I've never, I'll never be honest, it? I've never made gumbo. All right. But I, I, I'm sure I, it's, oh, you could I could do it. I had 7-Eleven wings, blah, nah, <laughs> I need my kids and a partner. They're old with their own families at 48 and I'm by myself. I'm sorry, Maria, you want to come here? Greek potatoes. <gasps> Ooh. Potato. Make my um lemon orzo salad. That's so good. I make a stellar lemon orzo salad. What? Oh, uh, I don't think this is fake. Yes. 
I was just offered a job at a cryptocurrency trader. She trades. Six to seven figures? Excuse me? Oh my. What? Yes! <laughs> Yes. Making connections, folks. See. Lord falafel. Jesus. Yes, I can make falafel. My husband loves falafel, and make my own tzatziki sauce. Yeah, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Oh, yeah, you do. Bro, you're insanely amazing. Okay, Greek potatoes, spanakopita, and falafel. That sounds like a good meal. I'd, I'd add Greek salad in, into that because I love Greek salad. And then we can watch everyone drool while I eat a, a delicious homemade spanakopita. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, tzatziki, man. It's the best. If you don't know what tzatziki sauce is, it's Greek yogurt, it's garlic, lemon, and dill, and it's this beautiful, like, yogurt sauce. It's so good. It's so good. I love me a good Greek salad. I kind of had a Greek... It was very Greeky today, my salad I had. I know, Maria... Like, he knows the stock market, so. Yeah, I'm telling her. I was, she's like, do you know about cryptos and stuff? I'm like, I'm just learning now. Because I was in all stocks and ETFs and that stuff. Yeah. You know? You're having an interview. That's awesome. Oh, my God. I can't believe it, dude. Praise Jesus. He just does stuff. Yep. He just does things. He does. And blesses you. <laughs> it's a faith. Yep, it has cucumbers too. Sorry, I, I forgot that. Yeah, you you grate up the cucumbers into the tzatziki sauce. It's so good. Rev will be the next headline. Yeah, Rev getting a six-figure job. <laughs> Six to seven. Like, yeah. Excuse me? That's your experience. She ain't no joke either. She's got like five... Oh, shit, what the hell? Huh? Alright. I have no idea what's Hold going on, on out there. Don't let us stop. Jason, William E. Groff. What? I spoke Spanish, excuse me. <sighs> Whoa. White man can't speak Spanish. Make homemade meatballs one day. Yes. Yes. Meatloaf. And then my mashed potatoes. I make bomb mashed potatoes. Homemade meatballs. Yes. I'll teach you how to make some bomb meatballs. But I, I would I would use um the Beyond Meat, I think, for my meatballs. Oh yeah. This is ready to be taken out, love. It is done. <laughs> okay, lasagna? Yes. Wow. Man, that's kind of going Look at that. I think I'm just having fun with that. That is done. Okay, that looks done done. It is done. We just have to let it sit for a while. On the counter? Yep. Just put it on here. Well, I was gonna put it over here. No, just put it on here so I can show them the, to the phone. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Done, there you done, go. Done, done, done. You are an amazing chef. Thank you. And I can't yeah. wait to see where you go because you're going places. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Lasagna 2.0. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, it is. Woo! 450 yeah. degree oven. Get that real quick. Okay. Purple babies. I'm going to move that over here so you guys can see this. Oh, Look at this. It's so delicious looking. 
Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. With the arasini balls and the fried dough and the lasagna rollatini with the cannoli dip. I think I scored with my family tonight. I think I scored with my family tonight. I think I officially scored with my family tonight. I hope you guys understand that more to come on this channel. Tomorrow, tomorrow I actually have a dessert planned. I'm not sure if I have any meal planned per se. I might, but I definitely have a dessert planned. And let's just say it is a strawberry jello delight stay tuned on shanty for christ and um we'll still do the foods and my game in and makeup tutorials are on the way too folks i haven't forgot about those so if you're not going to see anything else tonight of mine, have a good night. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your life. I love you guys so much. This is, oh, stay tuned. Go to Jason Avocados 420. Bro. And you will be seeing the hubby eating this delightful food. Absolutely. And in a little bit, after all this food is settled, I will be having my own mukbang and trying to have all the goodies out. Oh so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to let this kind of cool down and settle. But I'll let you guys just stare at it one last time. Because that is just supreme goodness, I think, for everyone. Peace and Maranatha people. Bye, guys.